Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am back with another video. This time I'm just giving you an update of where I've been and what have I been doing. Been out of YouTube for like about a month, or about that. But now I'm back and I need to tell you I was at E3 2017. If you have been subscribed to my social media, you will, you will probably be seeing a lot more content because I was posting like, like uh, frequently on you know Facebook Twitter and Instagram so what the hell was I doing all right so I was at E3 uh, day one for me was on Monday and I got to see the press conferences uh, of Intel and PC gaming show they of course showcase Intel showcase their new uh, processors which are pretty cool and PC gaming show actually showed a bunch of games the one that I was most interested in was Age of Empires, I posted that on Facebook and Twitter. Awesome response, thank you guys. What else did I do? E3 day one, I just went immediately to the Nintendo booth where I got the chance to play Pokken, which is a pretty much kind of like Street Fighter meets Pokemon. Was pretty cool, got some footage of that. And yeah, hopefully it will be like in our hands soon so we can like play and smash each other with Pokemon. Because, yeah, I mean, the gameplay was pretty darn cool. The next thing that I saw and I actually got to get my hands on was the game Destiny 2. I mean, if you're a big fan of it, it's pretty much the same. I'm not going to lie. It's nothing special. Just the same thing. And that's pretty much it. Then I got to actually watch a video and gameplay of Monster Hunter, which I'm not a big fan of, but it was still pretty cool that they're still developing this game. And it's pretty darn awesome. I couldn't show... I couldn't actually film in there, but well, it is what it is. At least you guys know it's coming out. Another game that I actually just saw some gameplay of it and I didn't get to play it was Days Gone. Pretty cool game, sort of like a Walking Dead means, um, Walking Dead meets, what is this thing called? Uh, the Last of Us. So it was pretty cool, more brutal more of an open world system where like every action you do sort of affects the story a little bit and uh, then I got to actually just saw another video of the Spider-Man game for the PlayStation 4 and um, pretty excited about it pretty stoked about it I mean it was pretty good the set was pretty good I mean, it was more dynamic the way I saw it. Couldn't film any of it. Again, you know, Sony and their strict no recording policies. And that was it for day one. Day two, I just got to see the booth of Crash Bandicoot. Then I actually, uh, well, it comes out on June the 30th, which is not that far away. I got to see the Xbox One X, which, I mean, that was the high point of E3 at this point. Uh, you know, it comes out in November the 7th. It costs 500 bucks, 6 teraflops of GPU, and 4K res. Uh, backwards compatibility, and that's pretty much it. I mean, pretty kicker deal, actually, since you know you cannot just build a 4K computer to play games for 500 bucks. It's just not gonna happen. So at this point, it's the best option. I mean, you will just have to wait and see what, uh, you know, NVIDIA and uh, the rest of the computing world techs out there have to offer. Because at this point, it's just the Xbox One X 4K. That's it. So now it's your move, AMD, you know, NVIDIA. Let's see. Let's see what they can come up with. Another game that I was excited to see and I actually didn't get to play it was South Park game crack but whole so sad but I mean the lines were just this long it was huge and uh, finally you know the cherry on top of the cake was Super Mario Odyssey I actually got to play it it was pretty good and uh, I got some footage of it I'm showing you right now um, not much I can complain since you know they are bringing something new to the table. I thought it was pretty cool. The, the city environment was pretty actually fun to explore. There was a desert uh, scenario too. And uh, that's pretty much 
what I have to say about A3. It was pretty huge since it was open to the public this year. The lines were just insane. I actually didn't get to go on the third day because I only got to see these things, like these things that I'm like talking to you about in two days compared to other like past years. Um, it's not that much. I mean, EA moved their booth out of E3 last year to go just like right across the street. Now they were like in another location pretty far away, open to the public as well. There was no way to get in, even though I had signed up and I got accepted by EA, I couldn't just go because there was just so many people out there. Even though you had a ticket, there was no guarantee of entry, but um, we'll see about that. What do you think about this new uh, E3 solution that you got so people can like just assist? Is it worth it? I don't know, they sure made bank though because it was like 250 bucks per entry and they had actually stores in there where you could buy things because they didn't give a lot of swag this year. I just got like a shirt, a lanyard, a bag and that's pretty much it. And past years I got like two bags worth of shirts. We'll see how it goes until next video where I got to show you some cool stuff. I'll see you guys again. Please comment, like, subscribe. Subscribe to my social media channels and I'll get you I'll get you on the next one. Peace.